I did it again. I got down here working and just <sighs> my mind's been going other places and I just totally forgot to start recording what I was doing. So here we go. I got parts of the shower surround up and all it is is okay the instructions say to take painters tape and tape your panels to your wall to hold it and then do your measure and make sure everything's sitting right and you got your holes drilled and also stuff well it's so humid the tape wouldn't stick so i had to get it as close to the ceiling as i could and use some drywall screws just to hold it and that way i could do a dry fit and make sure all the panels are right now this this uh corner piece i gotta cut it down i had to measure it again because i can't remember because the short side goes here and then your wide side goes against here and you run your glue and your sealant and it all sticks together and then I uh, have to uh, cut this out for the window. Now, I really don't know if I should cut it out before I glue it. Or just go ahead and glue it. And then come back here and cut it once it's all set up uh, or good to go. I think that's what I might do. And that way I come back here with my vibrating tool or razor blade. Because it cuts pretty easy. It's It doesn't require any like, you know circular saws or nothing like that so this is where i'm at done i'm just kind of over it it's just one thing after another and i spent half the day trying to find the right stuff to glue that to the drywall i drove i got up down here at 8 30 in the morning didn't find had to go to three different stores just to find one tube each because each store was out and all i had was one tube didn't get started till 12 o'clock ugh man so I'm going to have this done shortly, hopefully. Thank praise to Jesus, I'll have this done. And, uh, yeah, so let's get after it. Well, the time has come, and I've glued my first piece down, this corner piece. And I hope it all holds the way it should. I can go back and clean this off with cleaner after a while. I just want to get these pieces hung. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow and finish it up because they they're gonna have to have time to set up so let me get to it good morning folks it's monday morning I guess about 10 o'clock and i'm gonna do some backhoe work and do some grading out front here for some of the grade work i've been doing with my backhoe isn't it pretty yeah just trying to get it smooth oh let me show you my backhoe see this is my backhoe it even says so backhoe and for those people that might be another language, you know, then I got backhoe. <laughs> you know, so yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm I'm backhoeing all these little tractor marks back when I spread the dirt. It makes it real bumpy because I, I want to be able to get over here and ride my mower to keep this grass down for you know who, the old ticks. So, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this. I can't remember if I planted any pumpkins. So now I'll plant pumpkins. What are you? Are you a lightning bug? Are you a lightning bug? I don't think you're a lightning bug. I think you're just a bug. <laughs> you better go on. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I get done with this when it gets a little bit hotter in about an hour. I'm going to get back inside and start working on the kitchen. So how is everybody doing this Monday? Hmm. You have to forgive me. These are the baked beans I made last night, about two o'clock in the morning. I made a YouTube video about it on my other channel, Redneck Cooker. If you want to go check it out, I'll have a link. But uh, these are the best baked beans ever. Hmm. So anyway, here's what I'm doing. As you can see, I got this panel finally cut, sitting down flush with the rest of the floor. So my game plan is I don't have a clue what I'm going to do next. Now, there's a hole right here. Okay, that board's just sitting there. 
and I need to replace this whole panel. But half of the, oh, I'm sorry, half the panel is up underneath the kitchen. See, this panel stops here, goes all the way across. So if I want to remove it, I got to remove, start removing the kitchen counter. And I'm trying to come up with a game plan how to do it and not destroy it. Because it, if that wall right there, I'll move you again. If the, the wall is as rotten as I think it is, it really shouldn't have anything holding it to the wall. I should be able to just pull it out. So I'm going to try to pull this whole counter section out, slide it over here. That way I can get underneath all that floor. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, at first, I was just going to destroy the whole thing. You know, just beat it to death and, and take it out and burn it. But I was like, well, that countertop's, you know, it's good and usable. Kind of. But the cabinet is just total trash. So, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Day that's been shot. I had some stuff to go do and I just couldn't get onto this. Then I got sidetracked and I started <laughs> hoeing some more outside. And, uh, but yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim up this piece of plywood and this one to, you know, ex expose the floor joists like over here. I'm going to square this one up. I'm going to patch this and patch this for right now because I don't have all the materials that I want. Like, you know, repairing this wall section and tearing this out because I don't have a valve to turn off the water. I don't want to turn it off the whole place because I can still use it, you know, use the bathroom, stuff like that. And there's really no way for me to remove this because all the screws on this back side that's screwing it to the wall or the, the joist are so rusty. I tried to get my, my screw gun in there and they just all rounded out. So it's, if I'm going to take it out, I'm just going to beat it beat the crap out of it and remove it so I don't have the materials I need to go ahead and uh, you know build something else or I thought about buying one of those like $60 freestanding utility sinks like the twin sinks and that way I can put it anywhere I want and I can just run an extended water line and, and make a drain you know that way I can move it around and use it as I do repairs so I don't have none of that stuff so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna patch this for right now leave this be until I'm ready and carry on what's going on guys and girls got some bad news <laughs> i came out here this morning and all my tomato plants were on the ground and this one here got some stem damage so i had to try to get him stabilized that way his stem wasn't pinched anymore and I had to go out and buy these dumb buckets, these tomato baskets. Five dollars a piece for these pieces of crap. But I'm hoping they work. I wasn't going to buy any more than five, so I found this old tiki torch and drove it into the ground. Tied him up two different times. I'm hoping that works. So what I'm going to do is... uh make my own baskets i don't have enough material but maybe i can forge some more i figured i had this small roll of fencing right here and i'm just going to use my five gallon bucket as kind of like a like a template roll it up and tie it off and then make a basket out of that because those baskets you get at the hardware store are nothing but junk and in very short time all my tomato plants are going to need something because they are getting big really quick. Even my little ones that I planted over there. I don't know if you can see it. See him? He's growing by leaps and bounds. All four of them are. Those are the ones that I couldn't get to grow at all. So I'm about to come up with uh, several baskets here shortly. Now here's my other problem I'm dealing with. Since my last video, I've got several strawberry plants where the, the leaves have been completely chewed off i don't know if this is slugs or snails or maybe a rabbit 
or some kind of bug. So that's really kind of getting on my nerves. Like this one right here just got decimated. So I'm going to put out some beer traps. And all it is is a little container with some beer in it. And the slugs and snails and a couple other bugs will get in the beer and die. So I'm hoping that will fix my issue. And I've got some leaf wilt here. I'm not really for sure what might be causing that. So yeah, the, the dust is what they call seven dust. We used to use that a lot from when we had a whole bunch of tomato plants up out of the house. It seemed to keep a lot of the beetles and all the other bugs off of them. So I'm hoping this works. And I'm hoping it's going to rain today because I think these little dudes, there's a couple of them, looks either they're stressed out or they know it's going to rain. So but anyway, let's get to making these buckets or baskets, you know. There we go. Let's cut the bottom off of it, then I cut the nubs off of it. And surely that right there will make a dandy fine tomato cage. What I might do is next time I get the money is go buy a roll of the six by six fencing. Or maybe I'll just buy some more of this. I don't know. Just get something a lot more heavy duty. Let's just start making these cages during the wintertime and sell them in the springtime and call them commercial grade tomato baskets. I'm sure somebody will buy them. Dude, I think that's a, a damn right tomato cage right there. All kinds of support in that thing. Hell yeah. I had some of the fencing left over from making the uh, tomato cages. So I thought I would make a strawberry cage or try to make what I could with the material I had left over. Now these, these down here, I'm just going to be like, okay. I'm going to sacrifice you guys until I can get some more cage, but the ones that look a little bit more healthy, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't put this cage around them. And we'll just see if the leaves stop being it over here. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Okay, here we go. We've got eight plants behind the cage now, and i got eight plants out here to fend for themselves. I wish I could find some more fence. I'd do it all, but I think I'm going to try something like my papa used to do. He used to take like aluminum foil or like a like a pie pan or something like that. All tied up here. And when the wind blows, it'll flop around and maybe keep some of the rabbits away. But there's no evidence of rabbits any place. I don't see any poop. Normally you can always find rabbit poop on the ground. They've been hanging out and eating. But I don't see anything, so hopefully this works. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put a beer trap here just in case. So let's go uh drink some beer <clears throat> and make a beer trap. <laughs> I see a lot of different snail traps or slug traps on YouTube. Now, everybody's covering them up with like a board or a plate or something. So why couldn't I make a snail trap out of a whole two liter bottle? You know, just like bury it in the ground like this and cut some holes in the side. Maybe some holes in the top where the snails can crawl in it and still get in it. But if it rains, it won't fill up with rainwater. Now it's beer time. Let's do some natty light. One for me, one for the snails. Now these snails and slugs don't like ice cold beer, something wrong with them, they need to go away. Well, boner appetite, you father muckers. <laughs> Hope you like your beer. Remember those lettuce seeds that I planted just a couple days ago? Look at these little dudes. And they are already coming up. So, guys, I'd be willing by Monday next week, I might be eating some lettuce. That'd be cool. Now the peas, I'm pretty much just giving up on these peas. I think some of y'all, well, a lot of you, ooh, man, he's a fat little booger, ain't he? Check him out. He's busting at the seams. A lot of y'all are right, telling me that I needed to put the peas 
you know in the ground or a, a lot bigger container man look at the fat i'm gonna pick him check him out let's bust him open and see what he's got going on but anyway a lot of y'all were saying you know the pea plants are not getting very big because you know the containers that they're in look at that fat old peas i'm gonna wash these and i'm gonna well, wait a minute i didn't put no seven on these so yeah i'm gonna eat him the way it is mm. man that's just like eating sugar man it's tasty these aren't snap peas you can't eat the whole thing look at that that's downright tasty but yeah uh, come fall i'm gonna plant a huge amount of peas on the other side of the trailer in the ground okay y'all ready for my first pea harvest <laughs> That's it, man. So, I got a lot of work to do. I checked the plants on the, the dark side of the trailer. They're making peas, but they're not big at all. So, I figured I would just go ahead and get these little dudes out. Let me scoot them up where you can see them. Make me a little pile and just snack on them. But I tell you what, they taste like candy. Just eating them raw. That's amazing. Tell you what, guys and girls. If you're stuck in the big cities and you and you just I don't know. If you if like if you live in the big cities, you really need to get out of these those cities. Cause they are total crap, if you ask me. This ain't much, but I tell you what. It makes me really happy to just get these a few little peas and knowing that I did it. And uh, I'm looking forward to when I can have a bushel of peas, not just a handful. I think I might do some sugar snap peas. That way I can just eat the whole thing. But, uh, but yeah, this would be a good little mess as far as just a snack on. If you think you can't do this kind of stuff, folks, you know, can't never could, you know what I mean? Just get out there and do it. Even if you live in an apartment, you can get containers. You can get everything you need to grow stuff. You might not be able to get it in like a large abundance, but you'd be surprised what you can do. I've learned a, just a whole lot since this spring. Man, look at these big old fat peas. And uh, I'm really excited about the next growing season and seeing if I can't turn this into a bushel. And a bushel of peas, that's a lot of peas, man. There we go. So I'm going to snack on these. I hope you guys like this little vlog type video. I didn't have enough of the trailer repair stuff to, to make something worth make, you know, making. Just trailer stuff. So I just decided to make a little vlog video. So anyways, I'll see you guys later.